Hi, Mark Davis of XRM Cubed here, working from the home office today. This video is another in my series of basic CRM tips for sales professionals. Like me, you probably acquire lists of leads or contacts you'd like to import into CRM for the purpose of email nurturing or cold calling. This isn't terribly difficult to do, so I'm going to show you how to do it inside a dynamic CRM. First thing we're going to do is format our leader contact list. Add some fields that are probably important for you to have inside a CRM, import them using the handy tool inside Dynamic CRM, and then of course, we're gonna check our work. Okay, the screen you have here is your open leads view. Uh, this is from a standard configuration of Dynamic CRM Online 2015. If you've got an older system or perhaps one that's been customized, your system may look different. Anyway, right from this lead screen, you can access import lead functionality and templates. Makes a lot of sense, makes it real easy. If you couldn't see or access the buttons from the leads view, navigate to settings and from there, data management and templates for import. You'll find templates for lead and contact records, as well as templates for any number of other CRM records. Choose the lead template and it will download an Excel format. Open it up and you'll see a spreadsheet with column headings conforming to the standard fields in a dynamic CRM lead record. I couldn't fit all 41 columns in one slide, so I copied them all into a text box in the center of the slide. If your lead list doesn't include data for all the standard fields, or your list has more fields than are listed, or you just don't need all those fields, we can manage that. You can just bring in the data fields you need for the job. For instance, if you're running a nurture campaign that consists of an email and a follow-up phone call, you can just bring in first name, last name, email address, and phone number. Sticking with this idea, I created a sample list with the important data I need in order to run this nurture campaign. I mentioned the idea of adding fields that are important to have in CRM. So let's look at the first column. In this import template, you'll notice that they all say nurture campaign. If I want the ability to create a marketing list consisting of just these leads once they're in CRM, I need to have a unique topic that I can search on in order to pull the correct leads. Now let's look at the last column. I want Spencer Lowe to be in charge of all these leads, so he is listed as the owner. This is the data that I entered manually into the template and will be entered into the leads in the corresponding field. So I've gone back to my lead view, clicked on import data. Now I'm going to choose the file I just created and saved in CSV format. Click next. We're using the CRM template, so we'll use the default mapping. Map the record type to lead. If there's some problem mapping your data to the corresponding field in CRM, you'll be notified here. We look good, so we'll just click Next. This screen confirms that everything looks good. Here you have the ability to save the mapping of your template for later imports. If you're using something other than the template CRM provides and using it on a regular basis, you can name and save the data map for the future. You can also prevent or allow duplicates in this dialog box. The import tool has done its job and you can see that the two leads are in the system and showing up as owned by Spencer Lowe. Now let's open one of these up and see what we have. Looks like all the fields that we populated in the template are populated in the lead record. That's good. Now we can create the marketing list, send out the email blast, follow up on the phone, and move this lead through the customer journey. Well, that's all there is to it. If you need help with more formal training or deployment of your dynamic CRM system, contact me using the information you see here. Thank you.